నమస్తే శ్రీరామ లవ్ అండ్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ సిక్స్టీ వన్ వెన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిక్వైర్డ్ టు క్లోజ్ ద పైప్ హ్యాండ్ ద రిక్వైర్డ్ ఫిటింగ్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ సాకెట్ ఆప్షన్ బి టి ఆప్షన్ సి క్యాప్ ఆప్షన్ డి ప్లగ్ కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్ డి ప్లగ్ ప్లగ్ ఐ క్లోజ్ అన్ ఓపెనింగ్ ఆన్ ఏ పైప్ ఫిటింగ్ that's called plug so for question number 161 when it is required to close the pipe hand the required fitting is correct answer is option d plug subscribe this channel click the bell icon and also share this video to your friends on facebook and whatsapp group for more videos check the playlist or home page of this youtube channel next question number 162 the purpose of lubrication is option a to reduce friction option b to reduce wear option c transfer heat produced option d all of this so correct answer is option d all of this purpose of lubrications reduce the frictional resistance protect the engine against wear uh serve as a cooling agent by picking up a remove all impurities from the lubricated region from a seal between the piston rings and the cylinder walls to prevent blowing for question number 162 the purpose of lubrication is correct answer is d all of the above next question number 163 which of the below lubricant cannot be used in splash method of lubrications option a mineral oil option b breeze option c synthetic oil option d soluble oil so correct answer for this question is grease grease a grease may be defined as a solid the semi fluid lubricant consisting of a dispersion of a thickening agent in a lubricating fluid the consistency of a grease depends on the percentage of thickness in the grease so for question number 163 which of the below lubricant cannot be used in the splash lubricant splash method of lubrication so correct answer is grease option b next question question number 164 which of the below operation requires spindle speed option a thread cutting option b boring option c reaming option d tapping so correct answer for this question is thread cutting thread cutting applying the required threads per inch by gearing of the machine using split nut sharpening the cutting tool to the required thread angle set up the work and the tool in a correct position with compound slide swivel to off the thread angle engage a slow speed on the machine so question number 164 which of the below operation requires spindle speed correct answer is option e thread cutting question number 165 an operation on a lathe where the diameter is increased after operation is called option a facing option b taper turning option c reaming option d knurling so correct answer for this question is option d knurling here the picture of a knurling operation knurling the process of embossing a diamond stride shape and pattern onto job tights stride diamond and diagonals 
special tool that is called knurling tool is used for operation so for question number 165 an operation on a lathe where the diameter is increased after operation is called so the option correct answer is option d that is knurling next question number 166 the operation of the shaft carried in the bearing is often referred to as that is option journal option b thrust option c race option d catch so correct answer for this question is option a journal this is the diagram of a journal bearing journal bearing a journal bearing is a hollow cylindrical enclosing a solid shop that rotates about its axis at radial speed the gap between bearing and shaft is filled by viscous oil and it will be considered at rest so for question number 166 the portion of the shaft carried in the bearing is often referred to as the correct answer is option a journal Question number 167 for mounting a lathe chuck. Option A, mounting it by power only. Option B, mount it with the help of hammer. Option C, mount it by hand only. Option D, start it by hand and then switch on to power and assemble to the spindle nose. So correct answer is Option C, mounted by hand only. So for question number 167, for mounting a lathe chuck, the correct answer is option C, mounted by hand only. So this is the diagram for mounting the lathe chuck. Next, question number 168, the process of removing the internal defects or to refine the structure of steel components is called as Option A, tempering, annealing, hardening, normalizing. Correct answer is normalizing. Option D, normalizing. Normalizing. The objective of the treatment to counter the effects of prior process, such as casting, forging, are rolling into on one which enhances the toughness or in certain products forms meets final mechanical properties required by relieving internal stresses refining the grain size and improving toughness so for question number 168 the process of removing the internal defects are to refine the structure of a steel component is called as correct answer is option d normalizing question number 169 abrasive particles are option a soft option b normal option c very hard option d all of the above so correct answer is option c very hard so for question number 169 abrasive particles are correct answer is very hard so this is the abrasive particle so the picture is showing next question number 170 which of the following is used for holding board parts for machining their outside surface on lathe option a mantle option b docks option c driving plates option d angle plates Correct answer is option A, mandrel. This is the picture of mandrel. The mandrel is used to hold the aloe or drill or piece. Thank you for watching. Jai Shri Rama.